This is The Age Case. Make sure you like and subscribe and hit the bell. I just wanted to talk about a certain area of the UK, Hampshire and Berkshire, I believe, between sort of Salisbury, Andover and Newbury. Seems to be a lot of activity happening in this area. 77th Brigade at the Denison Barracks is situated if you look to the north of the map and it's where the UK Army have created a special force on Facebook, Twitter and Bit and what I believe is BitChute to sort of censor media coming through and BitChute which is down in and over the head HQ is a place of alternate media where stuff gets through. We also have the UK Army headquarters situated on the other side of Andover. It's just a hunch but I'm believing that BitChute was kind of created to get all of the very small percentage of the population over to BitChute from Facebook and Twitter so that they can keep the majority brainwashed on these platforms with their news. A bit like brand YouTube, there's been a lot of drama and saga and maybe hacking and suing going on over at brand YouTube. Also down the road is Port and Down, very important biopharma science campus with lots of laboratories. It's also where the Russians were found to be poisoned in Salisbury and then up the road from there is the Quintech and Quintech are involved in a lot of things they're pretty similar to what Serco is their 5G resilience advanced warfare aerial intelligence many sort of things around warfare so these companies are all situated in I'd say a 40 mile radius of Hampshire would be maybe a good idea for auditors to go and test all these out in a day I've seen an order to do a quintet one outside stood and I'm sure I've seen people go to port and down but maybe one of the auditors out there could go and check this out but it's all situated in the 40 mile radius like I say so if we was to do maybe a little bit of sort of Abbott maths the 13 companies sorry the eight five bits of the army are quite good for the government but if we use a bit of overkill maths and no this isn't some threat to anybody's family this is just some evidence that i'm laying out i've heard overkill say that when all this shit's over he wants to move to southampton or andover and andover's what two miles away from the 77th brigades and they always call themselves the 79th brigade so i'm just kind of putting two and two together and i'm really thinking that mr john overshill is part of the 77th brigade with all this evidence that i'm sort of laying out here always going on about the 79th brigade so i'm just thinking that oh we could maybe use a bit of lion fart maths and well brother if it doesn't resonate in my heart then it can't be real so what actually is the 77th brigade this word that keeps getting banded around if you're seen as a troll or you're not quite complying with the certain room that you're in you're called a 77th brigade troll 77th brigade that their role is to sit in youtube and create accounts to disrupt the order of people spreading information to less than a thousand people i just there's no point or reason to do that they have bigger fish to fry so what actually is it it's security assistance group the sag's mission was to work with sort of cross whitehall agencies to achieve the goals of defence engagement and building stability over street overseas strategies. The 77th Brigade was created to draw together hosts of existing and developing capabilities essential to meet the challenges of modern conflict and warfare. The unit's objectives were pretty much similar to the SAGs and they were also a follow-on from the 15 POG and what the 15 POG was the 15 Psychological Operations Group which was a tri-service or purple military unit formerly parented by the military intelligence brigade following the gulf war the uk government formed a shadow psyops unit called the 15 psyops group but the current structure of the 77th brigade which took over the 15 pog defense cultural specialist unit which is planning support on sort of behavioral analysis which they will give to the behavioral team then you have task group which provides highly deployable specialists to other parts of the army forces and government organizations quickly you have outreach groups which provide professional specialists in security capacity and building defense 
You have the digital operations group, which delivers influencing activities and products across a range of communication types and platforms such as Twitter, Facebook, and even say they go into YouTube. And, and then we have the Staff Corps, a specialist army reserve unit providing strategic level consult to the MOD and wider government, the GCHQ. So what the 77th Brigade actually does is they use unorthodox tactics to basically stop the Russians or the Americans or the EU or individuals from giving false information to British people and then British people spreading that information. That is what their job is. Their job is not to sit in YouTube channels or hangouts or whatever Discord you've got and disrupt or play foul or try to dox people. That's not their job. They don't do that. That's I would say 95% of that will just be individuals who, who want to cause division and hate for the sake of causing division and hate or they've found that they will be popular from doing so or they've got a chip on their shoulder from someone they're jealous of someone blah de blah there's many reasons why people do this but then you have the cabinet offices behavioral insights team and other sort of behavioral teams that nudge society and push information even false information onto society so it stops them from maybe pushing the real truth which is in opposition to the government it could be financially it could be sort of a matter of national security is the reason why they have done this the issue the British Army's had, and they've been worrying about this for a good 10 years at least, is the fact that a smaller, more versatile, more flexible enemy than the large institution that the Army is, uh, that those smaller organisations are better able to uh, be reactive and proactive in the, in the media space in a way that um, the British Army cannot. So in Afghanistan it found that the Taliban was very effective at, at messaging um, both to domestic audiences and to the international audiences in a way that the British Army found very hard to counter. If the 77th Brigade are not censoring us and trying to disrupt us in our rooms, it must be the Cabinet Office passing it on to COBRA, to the police, or Cabinet Office to Common Purpose, the Tavistock Institute, and the Behavioural Insights team. This is basically what is happening around Whitehall. The doctrine is set by the government and Whitehall, and then it goes down the line, and the media is then instructed as to how and managed as to how they should pass the information on to society, and then it goes round and it gets passed down.